Okay, so let's start having a quick look at the production phase for the axis and we start immediately with the strategic warfare. So, the British player, which is not here at the moment, decide to bomb Germany and he wants to send his bomber over these gorgeous three oil factories. German interceptors will automatically be deployed there. This is just a very easy simulation and now we start rolling dice. Just remember that the air battle happens at the same time so we will have five dice each. The difference is that uh, German interceptors rolls at five and six against uh, uh, bombers, while bombers rolls at only six against fighters. So uh, the roll is simultaneously. Let's say in the right hand I have the Germans and the others are the British. So the Germans scores two hits, while known for the British. Thus, the five-step bombers is rotated to three. Then we have the anti-aircraft, which is abstract again, and rolls six dice, and it's at six for the Germans. And we, are, we have another hit, so the bomber is reduced to two. Now, the bombers is a strategic bomber and can attack the factories, rolling only two dice, because it is it has only two steps and scoring a six is an eight. So basically German production which was of 12 oil barrels per month has been reduced this month at only 11 and so I'm going to collect 11 barrels. Just remember that this phase is very abstract so the British bomber will be automatically repaired and rebased somewhere else. In this case we have both the maps combined together but let's say it goes out of the map. And the same apps happens for the German interceptors. It can be rebased anywhere in Germany but just remember that uh, if it, it suffers some hits it is not automatically repaired. So as said we have 11 barrels oil barrels and then we have a very huge amount of other production point for the Germans we have the same 12 blue production point so these are air production points so every air unit fighter and bombers needs blue points Then we have with the Germans eight armor factories, each one producing one production point, which is red in this case. And then we have 35 manpower or would say mining center, whatever, which are yellow production point. Remember that uh, eight, nine, ten, every time you spend a colored production points, so a barrel or an air point or an armor point, you always need to pair it with a yellow production point. So, what the Germans want to do That's it. Oh, sorry, yes. Hungarians. Hungarians have one red production point and two yellow production points because we are playing with the major pride option coming from the expansion. And then we they have unlimited oil, okay. And also Romanians, they have two yellow production points. Now, pardon me, I cannot find a second one, so I will use this one for the Hungarian 
and those two for the Romanians. So, uh, Romanians, they will repair this infantry, which is a mountain infantry, from two to three, and as the number is black, it costs only one. So, one yellow production point is spent. The other production point will be spent to repair this cavalry here, bringing it from two to three, as the tree is black. What about the Hungarians? The Hungarians have three production points. One is red and the other one is uh, yellow. I will keep, I will store the red one pairing with a yellow one because in order to save them I need to pair them so I can use it in the future because the only Hungarian tank is this one and as you can see number three is white it costs double so it means I need two red and two yellow and I don't have them so it will stay like this the other production point will be saved as well but the Germans may give up to three cubes production point or any kind to every minor and they will give one of the eight red armor point to the Hungarians in this way they can reinforce the Hungarian tank from two to three and that's gone going to the Germans first of all I want to rebuild a very important infantry I have here. As you can see, this is my best infantry. This is the 4 core, and I want to repair it at full strength. As the 3, the 5, and the 7 are all white, they cost 2 yellow production points each. Totally, 6. Then I want to repair the SS armor unit, which is here. Being an armor unit means that it needs red and yellow, and as the number I want to build for is white, it costs double, and those are spent as well. Then I want to repair some air units. Air units are very important on turn one or at this stage because they can provide extra dice in a single attack so let's start with this one I want to build this one from one to four as the two the three and the four are white each one costs two and each one each blue must be paired with a yellow one Thus, repairing this bomber from 1 to 4, it costs 6 yellow and 6 blue. They are spent. Let's have a look at some fighter. For example, this one here, it is a 3. If I want to bring it at full strength at 5, I need 2 and 2 because it is white. And now it goes back to Kursk. Let's have a look at some more air units. Oh, I remember I have a Stuka. Yes, it is here, which is not at full strength. So if I want to build the last one, now you know it costs double, means two blue and two yellow. Uh, now I have three and three remaining. So what I can do uh, I can rebuild this fighter from 1 to 2, which cost 1 production point, so 1 each. And then I can build one level of this bomber from 1 to 2. And that's it. Now let's start with, let's go over with tanks. We have five armor points left. I always need to pair with manpower, so with yellow production points. And what I want to do, I will repair this tank 
4 is white, so it is 2 each, 2 yellow and 2 red. I will repair this tankette, this light tank unit, which is, the 5 is white, so it is 2 and 2. And I will keep the other couple, so the red and the yellow one, here in this saved production point box for future use. Let's go to the oil. I have 11, but unfortunately I don't have 11 uh, 